Hello, this is a quick watch video of how to implement and configure the planner web part in SharePoint Online. So you're in SharePoint Online, you're in your team site and you're in edit mode. You're going to go to add a new web part, type in planner, click planner. You are going to add a new plan and we're going to name our plan. I'm going to create. We are going to ensure that our display is on board and we are going to title our planner. Okay, I already have one bucket here called to do. I'm going to add a new bucket called projects and a third bucket called launch events. Great. In my to-do bucket, I'm going to add a task. I'm going to name it marketing. I'm going to select a due date. And I'm going to assign it to one of my team members. Okay. Let's republish that and then I will show you one I prepared earlier. So as you fill up your buckets, you have the ability to tick off any tasks that have completed and you can rearrange your tasks if they need to, if you need to so buckets are great for planning managing and visually tracking what tasks and assignments that need to be completed or worked on these buckets specify what stage the project's at and as you saw, I was able to tick off and reorganize where the uh, tasks are located in my buckets. Another good feature in the planner web part is if you click on a task itself, it opens up in more detail what the task is about. So you can edit the progress, whether it's not started, whether it's in progress or completed. The priority can be altered you can change the start date and the due date. You can add notes, add attachments or column, uh, comments. You can also add labels to your tasks should you need to. So that's the board function in Planner. Here I've also got another display that's available in the Planner web part. If we scroll down, we have the status chart display shown here. I've achieved that by adding the web part planner and ensuring that the display is on status chart. There are other options you can choose from. You can have all charts. You can have members chart, bucket chart and priority chart. Now if we go back to status chart, you can see here that the status of our projects are that three tasks are left complete, two are uh, not started, one's in progress, none are late, and eight need to be completed. So there you have it. That is how to implement and configure the planner web part in SharePoint Online team sites. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.